All right, so today we're going to be going over the longest string algorithm using Quokka in order to console log everything. And so if you want to see how Quokka works, we can console log hello. And there you go, you'll see right next to it, hello will pop up. And so the longest string, what that entails is we have an array. And with an array, you can shove in a bunch of strings and they're all different lengths. So starting from zero, one, two, three, however many you have in the array, uh, they're all different lengths. And so what we want to do is verify A versus B and see which one is longer and then replace A and then go again A versus B and keep replacing until we find whichever one is the longest one. So I'm gonna be doing it through the old method first, just using regular function first and then we'll go over how to do it with the ES6 method. So we're going to call this uh, longest string and we're gonna pass it a parameter. Parameter can be just about anything we want. It can be R, it can be string, it can be pretty much anything that you want. Final thing that you want from it is that you want to make sure that it doesn't matter what, uh, what array you're passing or how long it is, you can just pass it on through and it'll still work. So, uh, first things that I like to do is write down everything in pseudocode so that that way I can plan everything out. So essentially what you first want to do is get the array. I can't spell today, so get the array. And then from there you want to iterate. I hope I spelled that right. Through the array. And then you want to check if A is uh, bigger than, bigger or smaller, doesn't matter, uh, than B and then replace A and then so on and so forth so it helps a lot when you write it down so that you know what it is that you're doing in plain English alright so we're going to start off by putting an init initiator and we're going to be using the let variable because we want to be able to replace it if you use the const then you won't be able to uh, mutate or change whatever the variable equates to. So we'll call this result or results or whatever you want to call it. And then we're going to want to iterate through the array in order to get the value of the next item. So we're going to let i equal zero and then i is going to be less than r.length Oh, I can't spell I plus plus <coughs> so we essentially want to iterate through the array so that that way we can verify uh, uh, 0 1 2 and 3 and so on and so forth all right so we're going to initialize the current item which the current item is gonna be R I now what that's going to do is while we're going through our process, it's going to uh, it's going to stop at the first one and then the second one and third one and so on and so forth. So we're going to say if current item dot length is greater than result dot length. Now what we're doing with that is. Uh, current item is going to be replacing result, so it's going to be pop constantly popping in there uh, as we're iterating through everything. And we're going to do that in this line. So if current item length is smaller than result that or bigger than result that length, then it's going to be replacing whatever's in there. So far it's empty, so the first iteration, which is going to be the word short, is obviously going to be longer and so it's going to replace it. And so we want it to equal R I. And then we want to make sure that we return that. And the way we check that with Quokka is we console log 
longest string and give it string strings two. And there we go. First longest is the longest. And just to verify this, we can add more to the array. And now this is the longest. All right. So to do this in ES6, just to make it pretty, I know that a lot of times people tend to shy away from ES6 or from higher order functions. So uh, it's nice to know how to do them. You can do them in just a few lines compared to this long for loop with a bunch of if statements and everything. We'll actually be using a ternary as well as the reduce method. All right, so uh, in ES6, um, we can pretty much just uh, use an arrow function instead of just a regular function. So we'll name this again longest string. And we want it to take R, which you don't even need the uh, parentheses, parentheses around there, but I like to put them in there just so that I don't have to worry about them later. And then it's gonna return a value, which is gonna be r.reduce. So again, it's taking in whatever we put into the parameter, which is gonna be string one, string two. Now what we're going to be doing with string one and two is we're going to be taking these two values and comparing them with the reduce method. And uh, higher order functions always have to return something because they're just that, they're functions. And so we're going to return string one dot length, if I can spell, dot length, take away string two dot length. And if it's greater or equal to zero, if I can find that, there we go, zero, then string one is longer. If not, then string two is longer. All right, so just to make sure that it works, let's console.log that. Longest string, string two. Uh, string two is not defined. Uh, what did I do? Oh, strings two, sorry, there we go. So there you go, uh, works just the same. So we delete this and now first long string is the longest. All right, so if you guys have any questions or concerns, feel free to leave them below. Make sure you uh, like and share if possible and I'll see you guys next time.